The Indiana General Assembly is back in session. Governor Eric Holcomb and lawmakers on both sides of the aisle in the House are laying out their priorities. WRTV State House reporter Meredith Hackler breaks down what lawmakers are hoping to accomplish. Governor Eric Holcomb has five main focal points of his agenda. Education, economic and workforce development, community development, good government, and health. On the education front, two major points. He wants to lower the age of caregivers for early childhood education. We think with the proper training and standards in place and oversight, whether you're 18 or 16 with these different age groups, um, you'll, you should qualify. He also wants to require that iRead be taken in second grade. iRead was created by educators to assess third grade reading. It's something Dr. Katie Jenner, the Indiana Secretary of Education, says has a lot of support. The first year that we uh, launched that, would have, which would have been 2022, we only needed around 30 to 35 schools to actually pilot and build out an on-track indicator that would support teachers and parents. Um, that year alone, um, we had several hundred. Um, I think this year we already have over 900 elementary schools signed up. Current data shows that one in five third graders struggle to read. Under Holcomb's proposal, if kids are still struggling by the end of third grade, they will be held back, something Democrats are concerned about. We're not fans of holding back. We need to do a better job. I mean, as Representative Pornett pointed out, the Republicans have been in charge for about 20 years almost of the supermajority, um, and their education policies are not uh, working. House Republicans want to expand work-based learning, give more retirement money to public servants, boost reading proficiency, support Jewish students by targeting anti-Semitism in classrooms, and make doing business in Indiana easier. This is just to create a little bit more fair and balanced approach as Hoosiers deal with uh, state agencies. House Democrats want to raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour, give more tax cuts for homeowners and renters, create a child care tax credit, and protect Medicaid and increase reimbursement rates. At the State House, Meredith Hackler, WRTV. Well, tomorrow night you can hear more about Governor Holcomb's priorities for this session in his final State of the State address. You can watch it live right here on WRTV and on our streaming platforms at 7 p.m. Tuesday.